Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, FAA publishes UAS facility maps, DJI and Hasselblad intro aerial photography platform, and live webcast schedules announced for Exponential 2017. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI. The FAA has published more than 200 facility maps to streamline the commercial drone authorization process. The maps depict areas and altitudes near airports where UAS may operate safely, but drone operators still need FAA authorization to fly in those areas. The maps will help drone operators improve the quality of their Part 107 airspace authorization requests and help the FAA process the request more quickly. The maps are informational and do not give people permission to fly drones. Remote pilots must still submit an online airspace authorization application. Requests to operate in these areas will require further coordination and FAA safety analysis. Remote pilots can refer to the maps to tailor their requests to align with locations and altitudes when they complete airspace authorization applications. FAA personnel will use the maps to process Part 107 airspace authorization requests. Altitudes that exceed those depicted on the maps require additional safety analysis and coordination. Additional maps will be published every 56 days through the end of the year. Questions may be directed to the FAA's UAS Integration Office via email at uashelp at faa.gov or by calling 844-FLY-MY-UA. You're watching Airborne Unmanned on Aero TV. We'll be back with more in a moment. Hi, I'm Brian Nguyen, President and CEO of AUVSI, inviting you to witness the evolution of unmanned technologies at AUVSI's Exponential 2017 on May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. Exponential is the premier trade event dedicated to drones and robotics. See more than 650 manufacturers and solution providers in the largest exhibit hall this industry has to offer. Join us for more than 200 hours of sessions on key topics and issues such as commercial unmanned applications, public policy and legislation, beyond visual line of sight operations, counter UAS systems, data management, women and diversity in robotics, and much, much more. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Following reports of ISIS weaponizing small UAVs, DJI has reportedly taken steps to keep the radical Islamic group from using its aircraft. DJI has reportedly geofenced much of Syria and Iraq. The internal software in the aircraft now recognizes much of these two countries as no-fly zones, much like airspace around an airport or military installation. Griff Aviation North America will begin building its heavy lift UAS at a new assembly plant in Lakeland, Florida. The UAS are capable of lifting hundreds of pounds, and the plan calls for another six of these UAS to be built per week at the plant so that they can be distributed throughout the United States. UAvionics has announced a new line of four integrated ping transceivers and navigation products, reducing weight and installation complexity. The Ping 220i, Ping 1090i, Ping 200SR, and Ping 200SI products combine the existing transceiver product line of Ping 220, Ping 1090, and Ping 200 with the TSO certified FlixNav GPS into a smaller one piece form factor that reduces weight on average by 40%. 300 Intel Shooting Star drones were used to color the night sky during the 2017 Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival in Indio, California. The UAS initially took the shape of a Ferris wheel, and then they created a rotating windmill, palm trees, and other colorful 3D animated objects. Earlier this year, the Intel Shoot Star drones were featured as a part of Lady Gaga's halftime performance during Super Bowl 51. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. DJI and Hasselblad have introduced the first 100 megapixel integrated drone imaging platform. The DJI M600 Pro drone 
The Ronin MX Gimbal and the Hasselblad H6D 100C camera combined each company's expertise to create a tool for precise, detailed, and accurate aerial imaging. Professional drone users can continuously control camera operations in flight using the DJI GO app. The flight platform is the DJI M600 Pro drone, a six-rotor flight platform equipped with the powerful Lightbridge 2 transmission system, a dustproof propulsion system, and six intelligent flight batteries. The M600 Pro can be guided by the DRTK GNSS navigation system, which can withstand strong magnetic interference to provide highly precise centimeter-level 3D positioning. The Hasselblad H6D 100C camera offers a large 53.4 by 40 millimeter sensor. The camera mounts on the drone through the Ronin MX 3-axis stabilized gimbal, which uses powerful motors and inertial measurement units to resist high g-forces, maintain stability, and hold the horizon. The M600 Ronin MX H6D 100C platform is the latest product collaboration since DJI assumed a stake in Hasselblad in late 2015, allowing the companies to explore fruitful collaboration on their advanced technology. Their first joint product, released in July 2016, combined the M600 drone platform with the A5D medium format camera. AAVSI and our Airborne Unmanned Program production team have finalized the schedule for their live interview program series for Exponential 2017, set for May 8th through the 11th in Dallas, Texas. The broadcast will be conducted, shared, and viewed online as a live webcast as well as archived for future viewing and use. Following extensive coverage and archiving of the opening day's festivities, the Airborne a and crew will conduct multi-hour live interview programs on May 9th between 1200 and 1500 CDT and 1000 to 1300 CDT on May 10th. Each session will consist of over a dozen 10 to 15 minute interviews with the best and brightest of Exponential 2017 offered live via airborne-live.net and also capable of being included or embedded on web pages throughout cyberspace. A strong social media program will support the effort via hashtag Expo17-Live. AVSI and ANN are building a guest and interview topic list now. Suggestions for the program are welcome and may be submitted via jim at aero-news.net. In addition to the live broadcast, ANN will unveil AVSI's first exponential innovation preview in which some of the most promising companies and technologies will have a chance to offer an advanced look at the extraordinary news to be made at Exponential 2017. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.